So this was day one. This is before I even left the hotel to go to the marina. I actually headed down to the breakfast because I had to check it out. Um, they had so many cheeses, the normal Mediterranean things like olives, salads for breakfast. Um, this was my favorite part, the little jams. I got cherry and strawberry and they put it in little waffle cups, which was really cool. And my favorite part is the honeycomb. They did this at several places. Ugh, so freaking cool. I'm not even gonna lie, I hated the majority of these cheeses. I was so sad. So a few hours later, I stopped to get lunch on the way to the marina. I got a kid's meal, fish sticks with french fries, and no lie, this is probably the best ranch I've ever had. Who would have thought? Shortly after lunch, I headed to the marina where we went to the pool party for a little bit before going to do provision shopping, and then we headed here for dinner. It was amazing. This was probably one of my favorite things I ate all week. Don't remember what it's called. This curry shrimp was so delicious. The appetizers were phenomenal. I actually ate so many appetizers that I couldn't even finish this and I was really sad because this was the Ottoman golden platter and it had the most amazing meats. It was so delicious. Day two started out with this amazing spread thanks to our awesome hostess, Haley. We had some shenanigans and then headed to a sushi dinner. The sushi was good, it wasn't anything spectacular, but I have to try sushi everywhere, so no regrets. Day three started with another spread, thanks to Haley. We had a riverboat tour, I got some gelato, and then we went to this amazing restaurant called La Boheme. My meal was decent, but it had absolutely nothing on patties. She got the chikurtme kebab, and this became one of our favorite meals of the entire week so freaking good and that evening we had dinner on the yacht prepared by Haley. day four was an adventure we started out with some awesome tacos and nachos from Haley. they were so spicy but so freaking good after that we headed to town to go paragliding but first i had to get gelato be on the lookout for my paragliding video that will drop shortly then I had the most amazing lamb chops for dinner, and my only regret is that I didn't get two orders. Day five was probably my favorite food day of the entire trip. We started out with this picture-perfect breakfast from Haley, and then we went to a pool party, where of course we had to start out with the garlic shrimp because it's everywhere and it's amazing. I ended up getting seafood fettuccine, and I usually don't like squid and calamari and all that, and it had octopus and everything, but it was so freaking good. And of course, Patty had to get our classic chikurtme kebab, and it was just as amazing as the first time. A little later, we ended up walking through the cute little marina town of Gocek, where we got more gelato, but I'm not going to lie, these flavors were not it. And they did give me the wrong flavor, but it was okay because they gave me a super cute magnet, and I still enjoyed it. For dinner, we went to Cesar Et, and it was probably one of the top three dining experiences I've ever had. It was like fine dining and modern. They had these super cool menus on the iPads and honestly that's probably what sold us on the Chateau Brienne because we got to see this cool video and we we're like oh yeah we want to experience that. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Finally, it was 
time to get served. Samson got this awesome tomahawk. He actually wanted to get the gold flaked one, but unfortunately they were out of gold flakes that night. Also did not know until we were here at this restaurant that Salt Bay is actually from Turkey. So this made sense. <laughs> I love that. Naturally, I had to try the super spicy mustard they had. Ooh, it had a kick. This is like all around good vibes here. We had another round of steaks that we could barely finish because it was two portions and then took some cute photos before heading back to the boat. This was one of the best dining experiences ever and it was such a memorable night. Day six was full of raft parties and drinks and food. We had the most awesome time. We had a nice little Caesar salad from Haley. I even got to swim up to the little ice cream boat and get an ice cream, which was super cool. And then of course we had to dive into our instant ramen stash because it's just like tradition. Later that afternoon, we headed to a restaurant and there was this cute little corgi mix that made me miss puppies so much. They put these weird little smoky things down to keep the bees away, but it did not work at all, so we had to just ditch those. This is a super popular thing in Turkey. It's called a meat bread, I believe. Probably the worst thing I had all week. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody else loved it. I did not love it. The bread, I was all about that. The lamb wasn't horrible. And as you can see, the bees were loving the fish. Me, not so much. Day seven is the final day and we got to head to the market and I got me some amazing spices, which I was super excited about. Hi. Where are you from? Uh, Texas. 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 You know you space. Yeah. Okay, I might get some seasonings. I want to look at everything. Okay. It took me forever to realize he was saying Turkish delight. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you have samples? I don't know. Hang on, give me one minute. I'll keep looking. So I browsed for a second and then I went inside and got to try Turkish delight. Oh my goodness. One of my new favorite things. Mm -hmm. That is so yummy. So yummy. We went and shopped a little bit. I got a cute pair of shoes and then we headed to our final dinner as a crew. It was the most perfect final dinner. The sunset over the marina. I got this awesome cocktail that looked like it was something straight out of Harry Potter. Absolutely obsessed and it was so delicious. Yes. <sighs> The garlic butter was amazing. The shrimp was so good. I got to try burrata for the first time. Amazing. I'm obsessed. I had seafood risotto and finished it off with some creme brulee. It was truly the perfect ending to 
an amazing week in Turkey and I only wish that I could do it all over again.